What's up survivors, I'm Natural Born, and welcome to episode 59 of our Random Gen Let's Play. Now, for today's episode, I planned on going back to the Iron Fortress and pretty much sticking around there until the next Horde night. But I'm sure you guys want to see this base finished even more than I do. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to head back to the Iron Fortress, we're going to restock on supplies, and we're going to get back out here, and we're going to keep building. So I think now's a great time to get downstairs, leave all the loot that we don't need to bring with us, so we have more room to bring more supplies. And as always, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody for all of the support on all of the videos, you guys are the real MVPs. And if you do find yourself enjoying today's video, then be sure to leave a like to show your support. Alright, we don't even have first aid kits on our character, but that's all good, we ain't gonna need that shit. Well, hopefully not, let's hope we don't need a bunch of splints either. <laughs> Alright, we spent a bit of extra time building in the last episode, so it's already 7.30 in the morning. So we're just going to get straight on the road, straight back to the main base, resupply, and then we're back out here to continue building. Can't be turning down breakfast though. Alright, so that meat's still going to help. We are still pretty low on meat raw meat anyway but food in general we're looking pretty good oh hello what do we got here i'm actually very surprised we haven't uh driven into this yet oh shit and we've got an animal right there he's gone oh no he's not should have kept running so what we have here is actually a military barracks now these are pretty good to loot so it'd be stupid for us to not loot this now. Alright, we've got zombies in there too. We're going to let them start beating on the door while we chuck this meat in the mini bike. Oh. Alright, make sure there's none of them out here. Fuck, I don't even actually have anything to uh, help break through with. Can we do this? Or are we going to have to uh, frame over? Oh, perfect. We can go ahead and jump straight through. Oh, shit. Maybe not. <laughs> Alright, well, we might as well go ahead, deal with these zombies, and then uh, see what sort of loot we can find. Now, if I recall correctly, you can find shotgun messiah crates here, um, a gun safe. Oh, we don't even have our pickaxe to bash into that. Oh, that's quite crazy. It's all the uh, same type of zombie in here. Is it the departed woman? Must be all the uh, army wives left at the barracks. Well, everyone went off and became a zombie. Right, and oh shit, we don't even have our fire axe. Um, alright. So maybe it wasn't the uh, smartest idea to come loot this place now. If I could get my hands on a couple stones. There's one. There's two. Can't remember how much do we need for a stone axe. Need three stones. Three more. So five in total. And take a little bit of plant fiber. And we should be looking pretty good now. Alright, we've got zombies in there too. So we're not going to be able to break into the gun safe today. But we will be able to get into the crates. Oh, back it up, lady. And even just thinking, because this is in the snow biome, this could always potentially be a base location for our snow base. Because I haven't transformed any POIs into a base yet. So that is something, if you guys want to see that, definitely let me know in the comments down below. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start looting. I don't think there's much up here. Maybe, yeah, bird nest. I going to say maybe a corpse too. We'll definitely take those eggs. Alright, see if we can get back down without breaking our legs. We've got trash, more trash, and a duffel bag. No machetes though. Alright, 
still slowly making their way in here. That's all good. They can take their time. All right, medical cabinet, some vitamins. And yeah, well, we're not going to break into this because that is just going to take far too long with the stone axe. Oh, shit. Yeah, you got to be careful with these crates. Sniper rifle parts. We'll take it. Alright, we'll go ahead and break into this crate. And what's that for the uh, chainsaw? No, auger parts. Alright, nice. Not actually too sure what the parts are like on our auger at the moment. Alright, we're already filling up on crap. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to make a quick storage chest. There we go, right there. Dump all this crap. We will take the um, the gas barrel, the magnum parts, but uh, the rest of this shit I'm not too worried about. Might as well take those rocket launch parts, we'll scrap those, read that. We should be pretty good to keep looting. And might as well pop our head up here, have a quick look, grab these gas barrels because we need that gas. Alright, here's that corpse I was thinking about. And that was not worth my time. Alright, so I don't think there's a lot in here. I know there's a Shamway food crate in there. But uh, either way, we're going to have to deal with these zombies. Alright, easy as that. And we're going to go ahead and bust our way inside. Alright, munitions box. What do we got? 60 rounds. We'll take it. Might as well uh, check the schematics while we're here. Alright, don't want to spend too long in this POI. This is uh, not what my goal for the video was, but this is the first military type camp that we've found we haven't found a missile silo yet or even an army camp so we might as well loot this while we're here all right bunch of nothing in there check the trash here we go beautiful that's what we like to see and i'm not going to worry too much about the rest of that and this guy's just having a jolly old time with this door Breaking out the walls and shit. Yeah, come down to my level. Alright, bunch of fuck all from him too. Continue breaking this open. We've got another munitions box. AK parts, we'll take it. Might as well check these for football helmets or puffer coats. Alright, check that trash. Probably should have uh, dropped some crap off in that we drop chest. Yeah, we might have to do that quickly just before we finish loading this place. This POI has a wee secret. If you guys aren't aware, I'll show you once we get back into that room. Now, I don't know how viable it's going to be busting in there without our steel pickaxe. But this room right above us, as you can see, there's iron bars and there is a corpse up there. Now, the corpse is the only thing that's up there. As you all know, the corpse has a chance, a very high chance, at dropping magnum parts. So, if you're on the hunt for those, or a bit of extra dukes, then it can definitely be worth busting your way up there. Alright, check out this room quickly. Alright, lady, over here. Alright, don't move. There we go. Easy as that. Any decent loot? Nah, didn't think so. What case? We'll go ahead and repair that, eh? Why not? Some more trash and some more lockers. Well, that quality 600 on the goggles. If we actually get another good pair of goggles, combine those together in a workbench, then that should be quality 600. And we'll be able to mark that off the list. But yeah, I'm not looking to, uh, oh, I suppose, 300 hit points. We're going to go ahead, break this out. I don't even have frames. We'll make a couple wooden frames, and I'll just show you guys 
what it does look like up there. And here we go, up in the vents. So we have a corpse up here. Oh, beautiful, look at that. Nice magnum grip, so it's definitely worth coming up. Another way you can get in here is you can break your way in from on top of the roof. But that's all good for now. We're going to get back on the road, back to the Iron Fortress. It's midday. We still have a lot to get achieved in this episode. And hopefully I didn't miss any loot. I don't think I did. So I think we should be pretty good. Uh, might as well bring the bullets. I'll go ahead and bring both of those as well. And tell you what, we'll go ahead and eat the vitamins, eh? Got to stay healthy out here in the apocalypse. We'll take the eggs, the painkillers, and the duct tape. Might as well take this crap. Yeah, it should be pretty good. I'm not too worried about the rest of the loot. Oh, shit. Goddamn barbed wire. All right, we're good to go. Back on the road, survivors. Oh, guys already know. We ain't turning down that deer. Oh, shit, we got another deer. Can we cut him off? No, he's, he's too quick for us. <laughs> we're not going to waste too much time hunting deer. But in saying that, we have always lucky. Just hit the gap, we'll let him be. So day 81, our next Horde Night is day 84. I'd like to put a couple days into this episode. Try to get a bit more done on the base. And then we will, hopefully in the next episode, should be Horde Night. Even if we finish off on day 83, I might even head back to the Iron Fortress and do a day's worth of mining before the Horde shows up. Just to make a little bit more progress on the mine and to get some extra resources. And I'm pretty sure we took half of our concrete mix with us and we've already used all of that just building the floor of the base. So... We may need to get some more crafting up while we're back at base, but that's all good. That's no worries at all. Alright, and there's a sight for sore eyes. As you guys can see, it's almost 2pm already. More than likely, by the time we get back out to the desert, it will be night time. But you guys know what that means. It just means we'll be building throughout the night. Alright, so we're not going to waste any time. We're just going to dump everything in here uh we will take those gas barrels though that's for sure and actually we should have beautiful look at that crap ton of gas barrels in there i might even leave half of them here because i don't think we'll need that many but uh more than likely we'll need them here we're gonna go ahead we're gonna grab out our trusty tools should have brought them with me in the first place but that's what you get You gotta be shitting me what's going on up here. Um Alright. <laughs> I don't know what the hell she's up to. Apparently she's on a mission. You by yourself? Apparently so. Very strange. Yeah, you get the fuck away from my bike, eh? Light him up. Knock him down. Alright, where were we? We got shit to do. We don't have time to be wasting with zombies. Okay, we do have one chem station there. That's good. I'm not going to worry about crafting up the workbench, the chem stations, forges, or anything like that. I think we'll uh, get into that after Horde Night. I think our main goal at the moment is all steel, actually. It'd be a bad idea to bring some steel with us. Now, the real question is, how much steel is it going to require? I'm not too sure. Alright, looks like that one's actually full on iron. That one, not so much. Where's the one with clay? Not that one. Alright, this one here. We're going to have to fire this up, and we're actually going to have to craft up. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just going to take a wild guess and say about two thousand rebar frame 
surely that's got to be enough to get the job finished. And unfortunately, I do need to take quite a lot of that rebar back with me. So, just going to have to try get some more things organised before we leave. It's good to see this is nice and loaded up with cement mix. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take all of this. And we're actually going to head back upstairs and we're going to load all of this into the mini bike. And then we're going to come back down and we're going to grab some more. Now the concerning thing is how long it's going to take to cook up all of that rebar. Because I'm not a hundred... You gotta be shitting me. Completely forgot about my leg once again. Alright, let's not make this a normal thing, eh? Not looking to break 20 legs an episode. I'm going to go ahead and load this up. That no, yet yeah, she's full. Now I might actually go ahead, gas can. We're going to craft one, and then we're going to try refill this. Yep, that'll be more than enough. Now we just need to fill up our inventory and then get back on the road. But first, we need a splint. And here I was thinking that we were going to have problems trying to level our medicine skill. Well, apparently not. And we have one there. We've got plenty of resources to craft more. I'm gonna, uh, actually, no. We're going to leave that splint. We need to uh, be mindful of what we bring with us. Alright, how are these rebar looking? 160. Not quite what I'm looking for. Um, i tell you what. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to take half of that wood. And then we're going to turn that back on. Might as well take that. It's what we can get. So it's all good. Concrete mix. And we're going to take all of it. So there's a few... I guess you could say high-end items that I would like in this space. These are more expensive to craft. Vault doors. I actually want four vault doors. Now, they are definitely not necessary. But um, I use them in my test build just to help zombies path obviously i don't think it affects their pathing but um we're gonna make them anyway if we go vault what do we need spring i'm gonna go ahead craft up four of these we don't necessarily need them but i'm gonna go ahead and craft up two of those as well at least this way we're gonna get a bit more rebar crafted before we head back to the base the other thing that i wanted I probably won't be able to make these just yet but these aren't as important as gun safes. They're actually extremely cheap. And wool safes, which are even cheaper. How many could we make? Oh, we could make 17. I'm going to go ahead and make 8 of those. And we're going to make 6 of those. Oh no, apparently we can't. Oh well, fuck it, that's all good. We're going to get back downstairs. We're going to grab some more forged. Sorry if this episode's a bit all over the place, but uh, yeah, I just I wanted to get back to base, get some more supplies, so we could continue the build. Oh god damn, we got a lot of steel in there. That's what you want to see. Um, Alright, we're going to take three stacks of steel with us. That should hopefully be enough. Actually, it probably won't, especially if we're doing the spikes and the poles, the pillar 50. But that'll be a start anyway. Alright, craft up those six. We're going to bring those four. And we're going to chuck this crap back in there. Alright, we've got two slots left that we can grab stuff with. We're going to check the rebar frame. See if we've got a bit more of that to take. Oh, beautiful. Just, just over a stack. We'll go ahead and pop that back in there. And cement mix, or concrete mix, sorry. Two, alright, I think we're good to go. Do I probably need some food before we get out of here? So we'll go ahead, smash back some meat stew. Alright, very, very lucky. I can't go out that way. <laughs> Just about ended up with another broken leg. 
All right, guys. Well, back on the road. All right, now that I'm back on the road, I just had one thought of something that I did really want before I continued with the base building, and that is iron bars. But that's all good. There ain't fuck all we can do about that now. We're just going to continue on, get back to the base, and continue building. All right, and we've made it back in one piece. And what a sight to behold. All right, let's hope we can make some decent progress on this base and the rest of the episode. So we're pretty much loaded up on crap. So if we dump some of this in here. Could possibly hold on to those. I did need the iron bars for where they're going to go, but we may be able to work around that. You can see Mo making his way down here. We're going to get upstairs, we're going to grab out our nail gun, and we're going to work through the night. Now we haven't seen a wandering horde this episode, so what's the bet that we see one tonight? Really wouldn't surprise me. Alright, we're going to keep that auger on us. Might as well take those gas barrels. And we'll craft up just one. Do we have any repair kits? No, they're in the mini bike, so that's all good. We're going to grab that beer because, yeah, we're more than likely going to need that too. And we should be pretty good to go. So we only have 900 rebar frame. Sounds like a lot, but it's uh, really not that much. And all right, I think we're pretty good to go. All right, I can hear our company outside. Got. Was it Mo? Oh, yes, it was. Come here, big boy. Fuck out of here. All right, take that crap. We'll put it in the drop chest. Now, realistically, what I should be doing, actually, right there, we got some cloth. Now, I spotted that in the last episode while I was editing. It's like we've uh, crashed the mini bike. But we're going to keep that cloth on us just in case shit hits the fan. Now, we have steel on our character. So we could go ahead and, <laughs> of course, I don't have the iron. Oh, well, that's all good. We are going to head up here. And, all right. Well, I suppose we're going to upgrade that for starters. Um rid of the knife for now and yeah i guess we can start filling in this roof now if i could get this entire top part done throughout the night that would be bloody good get it all upgraded and then after that i think we could possibly start upgrading all of the outside of the base and then start working on this pyramid ramp Which actually reminds me, there is a few pieces that we're going to have to craft. So if we come into concrete now, and we are looking for full corner. Now, I'm not 100% sure how many we're going to need. We're going to craft 80 to be safe. If we've got a little bit more, then that's all good. I'd rather have more than less. Now, with these areas here... So pretty much in the forge room where we've put a wee fighting position. Oh shit, don't fall. I'm thinking that I might break these blocks out on each side. And potentially turn those into ramps. And then we can possibly have spikes here. And we could probably go for pillar 50 just to keep it in theme with the rest of the base. And helps give it that temple appearance. But yeah, five blocks is just a bit too wide. I don't want to have... Like, I could have five pillars across. That would work, but um, I'd prefer for this to be just a tiny bit smaller. So I might go ahead and knock these out now. Now, it's unfortunate doing it this way, but uh, it's, just the, it's just what happens when you do builds this big. Mistakes are bound to be made. But there's no worries at all. We can go ahead and replace them. And we're looking pretty good. 
So, I'll swap out this. We get some ramps down here. Can I get a nice angle on these without falling down? Two. So, if we place those there, go ahead and upgrade them. And this just might help zombies path down a bit better. I mean, it might not. But, uh... There's only one way to find out, and that's by testing it. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. Right, I'm just looking at the time, and looking at the durability of our auger, thinking we might give it a quick repair before we continue building throughout the night. Because the less I can come down here, the better. Shit, that time is very close now. So we just need one good repair, pop that back in there. And the night begins. So, worst case, if we have a horde show up while we're up here working, they shouldn't be able to get up this ladder. Unless they all pile up there in the corner, then uh, that might do it. But, in general, we should be pretty good. Alright, quick scout of the surrounding area. Make sure we're looking good. Yeah, we look pretty good. And we get back down here. And I'm going to continue knocking out these ramps. Go ahead and upgrade those. Beautiful. And then that's going to leave us three blocks wide here, which is a lot easier to deal with. We don't have to worry. Now, they can, obviously, they can run down here, get a bit stuck here and start banging on the wall. But it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Like I said, there's only one way to really be 100% positive with these things, and that is to test it. And that is exactly what we're about on this channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side here, and upgrade them. Alright, and I'm hoping that helps a bit, because for a majority of the Horde Knight, we will be on the bottom floor fighting them. Hopefully they'll drop down here, they'll hit the spikes, turn into crawlers, and then they'll try crawl their way down there to get to the to get to where we are. And worst case, if we do notice that they're starting to pile up here, then all we have to do is shoot up the ladder, and then we can get up here and deal with them. So I'm pretty confident now that I'm going to use pillar 50 there. We do have some, but I left it in the base. So we might have to uh go back over there. And grab that. I'm actually going to take these frames out just to upgrade these corners. Just to make it a little bit safer. So I don't end up falling down into the kill chamber. Alright, so we've got the corners in. Let's check our inventory. So we've got not a lot of room. I do want to go over to the house. And grab a couple things. And there is no easy way to go about it, so we're just going to smash back a beer and get out there. Alright, it's very quiet. Almost too quiet. Alright, leave the stone. The jar. So what we want is spikes, pillars, and iron. I actually should have brought more iron with me. I did have some at the main base, but that's all good. We can't do a lot about that now. Alright, now we go. Into the chaos. But yeah, it'd be nice if we could go an episode without seeing a wandering horde. Normally I don't mind them, but uh, when you're trying to do a lot of building, it can get a bit tedious. Yeah, we're looking pretty good, pretty safe. Alright, so I'm going to get back down here quickly. And there is something that I wanted to test. So, I'm confident that we're going to be putting Pillar 50 in here. Just chuck the auger out. So if we go ahead and do that now. And where are these spikes? We'll go ahead and place these down too. Like I said, pillar 50 is great because you can just place them through the pillars. We'll 
go ahead pop those there we're going to fill the rest of these pillars in and now i just want to see if we take these out quickly we get our ramps we place these in on this side yeah like that They're going to give us a bit more of a wider fighting position. All right, yeah, make sure we can't uh, slip through there. That would not be good. But yeah, see, that just gives us a little bit more room to, uh, they are around the sides. Or well, just to get a bit of, bit of a better view on them. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. Now, I don't know how effective this is going to be, but uh, we're going to try it anyway. And three. Yeah, just like that. Now, that should be all right. If we have problems, then we're going to have to go ahead and uh, knock that out and fix it at the time. But for now, I think that's good enough. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these. And yeah, fuck it. We might as well just go all in. Start upgrading these blocks here. this is going to be our fighting position on the second floor now we shouldn't spend a lot of time up here but uh like i said if we have to then uh now we have an option to and we're going to go ahead and we're going to build the same thing on this side we will need a few more spikes six more should do the trick and we're going to pick these up as well and we're going to place ramps on this side too all right, beautiful. We're going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade all of this too. All right, did not want to upgrade that to steel, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Now, for symmetry purposes, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade all of that. And we can't do the ramps at the moment, but that's all good. One thing I do want to check, is that visible from down here? Yes, it is. All right, so I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, in the long run, we could go ahead and we could eventually upgrade the interior of this base completely to steel. But, um, yeah, in the meantime, that is definitely not what I wanted to do. So I'm going to go ahead, copy that on this side here. Purely for symmetry purposes. These blocks down here, I don't see them breaking at all. But, oh, well, that's done and so yeah that's probably something i should do is we come up here we're going to make a chest we're just going to go ahead and place it right there and we're going to put our steel in there just so we don't do that again because yeah we're not looking to waste resources at the moment and um, I'm upgrading so many concrete blocks that uh, there is a high chance that we end up upgrading something to steel by accident. Alright, and this section is completely upgraded. So if we get down here, you guys can have a good look. This is So this whole wall here will be lined with forges. We also have the option of doubling up and stacking them. And I think if we have two lines, so how wide's this? nine blocks we could have 18 forges on each side for a total of 36 forges and i can guarantee you guys that is how you get the screamers running so we might as well upgrade these bloody spikes to iron all right and like i said we are we pretty much now we have to go we've got two options here we can either go full steel for the inside of the base not the outside but the inside and if that's not a viable option then we can go ahead and i can break these blocks out at some point it'll take a while but not that long but that's just the joys of having ocd when it comes to building in these games now another thing that i considered here is if we knocked out these two blocks there there and in here we could actually place the uh, gun safes in there we could use those as drop chests for horde night um, the reason why i'd choose to put gun safes down instead of the normal storage crates is because we're going to have cops down here and they're going to be puking through 
The cop pukes at a storage box that only has 200 hit points that it's more than likely going to break. But by doing it this way, then uh, those gun safes can definitely take a beating. Alright, so it's almost the morning. Didn't see a single horde, which is great. And the next goal... I suppose we better uh, plan out the uh, next wall that's going in here. And that goes out by three blocks. Alright, go ahead and pick up all these frames in the middle. Alright, so we're going to leave those there. We're going to have a gap of three. Now we could go ahead and place a garage door down there if we wanted to. And we're going to leave this area open here. Maybe, oh, not there. So we're going to leave this area open here. It's just going to give us a good view of what's going on out there. And I'm actually going to place iron bars in there. Since cops can't puke through the bars, but we can shoot through the bars, this is where our work area will be. So if we're back here doing some stuff, some zombies fall in, then we could actually go ahead and shoot them from back here. Alright, like that. And then we can uh, go ahead and fill this area in here. I believe garage doors are two blocks high. We'll leave it at three for now. And um, we can fill that in after, actually. So we'll go ahead, we'll fill these in here. Now we can have a garage door here, and here will be iron bars. And then we want to go ahead and link these corners up. And I pretty much want these windows to cover all these bars here. So like I said, no matter where we are in the base, if anything's going down, then we're going to know about it. I don't really want to link the these together just yet until we've got the iron bars in there because they are going to provide quite a lot of stability so i might as well go ahead and map all of this out now this is also the problem here is we start seeing how much room's left back here now this this all looks well and good but this is actually going to have to come in by about that now we'll be able to fill that in. We might be able to leave gaps here. Obviously if we do it by three blocks, then we can fit chem stations in there. But the uh, work area back here is not going to be the widest, but it will expand around the entire pyramid. And it's one of the reasons why we've got so many openings everywhere and anywhere. So no matter where we need to get inside of the base, it should all be easy access. Now, that might be a bit confusing, so I'm just going to keep building, and you guys will start to see as it all starts to come along. Hopefully we don't have zombies come through here and uh, knock all of these rebar frames down. This might uh, help give you guys a bit of a better idea. We might actually be able to link these up. Should be alright. And that block there is actually going to be the roof, so we're going to go ahead and put some more frames in here. All right, it's looking pretty good for weight. And yeah, like I said, this will be iron bars through here. We can have garage doors here. And that'll be the same design the whole way around. And this roof will connect from here to here as well. And then we pretty much build straight up to the top platform. And then it's all ramps coming in. But yeah, guys. There's not a lot else I can do, apart from crack into it. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I just heard a zombie. Oh, that one zombie. That's uh, my type of wonder and horde. Especially on a building episode. Alright, lady, what do you got for us? Nothing. Just coming to waste my time. Oh well guys, I might as well go ahead and show you what we got done so far. Oh there, we got another one coming. She all alone. And one more shot. Damn, she's still standing. What a beast. There we 
go. Right, now where were we? That's right. So I'm still going to finish this side here. But this is the initial design for the inside here. We'll be able to have a garage door there, iron bars on the walls. And my other option is to give myself a bit more room in here. I could always extend out by one more block, but I'm not 100% sure if I want to do that because of the weight that it may put on the base. So I think I'm just going to go with my initial design for now. And yeah, I guess we're just going to keep building this, see how much of it we can get upgraded to concrete. Hopefully we can get this entire centerpiece done. And then the only thing we have left to do is to start building the outside of the base. All right, we're looking pretty good. So all of those pieces are in now. Now we just have to upgrade them. Now there is something I want to do quickly before I start this process. I'm going to pick up four blocks in here. And, oh, that was it right there. And we're actually going to go ahead and place these on the corner. Just so it uh, effectively gives us a bit more room to move around once everything's in. I'm going to go ahead and replace all these corners quickly. And this uh, should just make the base look a bit tidier once it's all upgraded. And like I said, it'll give us just that little bit of extra room to move around the corners. Alright, perfect. Now that that's all done, I actually want to, because we've got quite a bit of room back here, want to go ahead and do the same thing in these corners here just to help with the design make it feel a bit more bring a bit more feng shui to the base all right hopefully we don't see another wandering horde but uh two zombies and a wandering horde that is by far the least we've seen you guys already know what happened last time we got a small wandering horde then we ended up with about three in a day so uh building through tonight's going to be interesting because <laughs> that is more than likely when they're going to show up all right beautiful and those corners are in so the only thing that we have left to do now for this middle part is to start upgrading now like i said i would have loved to have the iron bars here before i done this but not a lot we can do about it now guess all we can really do is just crack into it all right probably should have actually crafted some garage doors while i was back at base but that's all good now i'm pretty sure that the garage doors are only two blocks high and that is pretty much what i'm hoping for because i've already gone with building the blocks i don't think they're three blocks high so i think we should be pretty safe here and worst case, if they are, then we'll have to go ahead and tear those blocks out. And at the rate we've been going this episode, it is something we're probably going to have to do quite a few times. Because I'm sure many of you have it, the builder's OCD when it comes to these games. It's real, it's painful. And for me personally, the thing that's got me going, i those quickly. See, it gives that nice curved effect. Is these blocks right here. Now, there's only 12 of them all up, so if I do decide to get rid of them, it's not going to take me too long. But, uh, yeah, that'll constantly be on my mind until that's fixed. But you guys should be able to start getting a fair idea of how the inside of this base is going to look. So there will be a roof on us up here. We should hopefully have workstations and storage and all of that good stuff all the way around the base. And then, like I said, we could fight from here. We could fight from here. We could fight from here. We can fight from here. And when I've completed more of the build, we'll be able to fight from up here too. There'll actually be one more room on top of this one here. And we'll be able to stand up there and fight off the horde too if we wanted to. Got a rabbit out there. Lucky I haven't got any nails in this. Not like I've got the uh, best aim with the nail gun though. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go ahead. We're going to keep upgrading. And another good reasoning for having the garage doors 
and the I am bars in here is say worst case something happens and we end up with a breach in here then we can retrieve into this part of the base and we can still manage to fight the horde off although they'll probably bash their way through the doors pretty quick but it should look pretty cool when it's finished just want to go around the edges here make sure all these blocks are upgraded all right and here's a better view here you guys can sort of see what's going on and yeah we're gonna have to start bridging up with these ramps of the pyramid soon but we're down to our last 500 rebar so that is not going to get us very far what we're actually going to do is we're going to nerve pole our way up here and we're going to start filling in this part of the base here and yeah as i mentioned hopefully we don't get any cave-ins now i've never had a building that i've built before collapse on me while building it so if it does happen it will be the first but um you know never say never one of the reasons why i'd say that i haven't had any problems is i'm extremely wary when it does come to structural support so as you guys can see we've only got a space of three blocks in between these two here these will give support to the base same with these ones here and then hopefully in by about the third block here that should um oh so what the fuck is that all this dust blowing in that um should give it enough structural support but like i said shit happens and if it falls down then we'll deal with it at the time so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to keep filling in this entire roof and hopefully we don't run out of frames all right and that should be all of that upgraded so there's a few different ways that i can go about this now one is either way i've got to build up five blocks to reach up to that point there but how much so we've got a little bit of concrete mix on us we do have a lot more back over in the house um something that i do actually want to do do this nice and quickly before we do anything else leave some frames over here so i don't break my leg once again fuck's sakes <laughs> oh god all right well lucky i grabbed that cloth though eh? all right jesus christ how many times can you break your leg in a week and seven days to die all right, we didn't want to go that far up. Back down there. Off onto the second floor. I'm going to grab out a little bit of steel. And I'm actually going to go ahead and upgrade these spikes to steel now. No reason not to. And I tell you what since we just don't want everything steel around this this area in particular we might as well go ahead and do these pillars as well all right perfect now we do have the option of doing this block here because zombies can't damage these blocks but they can damage this block in particular and yeah i don't know i guess we could do this whole lip out of steel um i'll wait to do that though we'll wait and see how things are looking all right so next up this is pretty much what it's going to be like up here it's going to be this design the whole way around we're going to have vault doors here so if we want to we can place a couple frames down to help zombies path up gives us a quick and easy in and way out obviously it is risky because uh you fall down here you're pretty screwed and then in this area here we'll be filling this in with iron bars because you've got to remember this is where the top of the pyramid comes to so we can be quite level with the zombies and we can stand up here and shoot them if we want to if they're not pathing down properly and it's why we built the vault doors so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to actually upgrade this now because we know this is staying 97 construction tools and they got us another level two you love to see it i'm just going to go ahead and upgrade this 
all right before i make any mistakes because uh you guys know it's already going to happen we need to drop this steel off quickly all right easy as that we're down to our last 250 frames oh yeah and our guy is starving well before i continue up here as i get all the way downstairs and go grab some food and some drink before we finish building throughout the night. Alright, we should have enough food to make it through the night. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to keep upgrading and see if we can at least get this top room finished just without the iron bars. I tell you guys, looking down here, you don't want to fall down there. Holy. So yeah, we're up pretty high now. This is the highest that the uh, pyramid will go. And like I said, this just gives us a fighting position from above. Go ahead, drop down. Alright, so we're at the night of day 82. Tomorrow will be day 83. We will be heading back to the Iron Fortress, and getting prepared for the next horde. And as I mentioned, <laughs> these parts up here, they're probably unnecessary. I've, uh, personally, I've had a lot of problems with pitfall style bases in the past, and that is just one of the reasons why I added the doors up here. I think we've got the doors on us now, so if I go ahead and go like this, we don't want it on that side. We don't want to give them a lip to be able to stand on. But we'll place the door there. Perfect. And then it's a straight shot down. Now, we don't have any defences inside for spider zombies, but uh, they're probably the least of my concerns. We will have iron bars around the top. When we're standing up there, it'll also enable us to stand on the uh, iron bars and have the perfect view down into the pit. Now, I could put pillar 50. It would probably look a bit better. It would go better aesthetically with the rest of the base, but this position here will not be for melee fighting. It'll be purely if we get zombies trapped up here. Because standing here, you can see down, pretty much down the whole ramp. So we can stand up here and gun them down to get their attention. Get one hell of a view from up here too, that's for sure. And their view is about to be even better once we place these in. Go ahead, jump up here. Alright, so now what we want to do is we want to fill this entire part of the roof in with frames as well. And we're going to get up here and start placing down some more frames. We've got 164 frames left, so this will be the last thing that we do at the base. We could potentially take our steel downstairs and our iron, try to upgrade as many of those spikes as possible, or at least do the pillar 50. All right, beautiful, and that is the whole roof fully upgraded. So as you can see, we're quite high now in the world. We're about 15 blocks above the killing chamber. And if we take a quick little peek over the edge, oh, I don't want to look too far. As you guys can see, straight down there is where the killing chamber is. And we're going to have some iron bars that stick out here that we can stand on and we can shoot down there if we want to. It's going to give us the perfect overview of the entire base. So if we do have zombies where their pathing does seem to get a bit messed up, we can stand up here, take a few shots at them, get their attention, and then lead them into the base. But what we can do is we can take out some more forged, providing it's safe. Come down here. Hard to tell if it's safe down here or not. Oh well. And pretty much just start upgrading these pillars here. Alright, we're out of steel already. There's about a thousand steel. And that got us about halfway on this side. So maybe another 1500 to 2000 steel. And we'd be able to finish all of the pillar 50. So... It's not too bad, not the best, but definitely not the worst. So we're going to leave all of this crap here. 
Um, I will have to bring the auger with me. Well, it depends actually, because I may not do mining yet. I might actually hold off on that. I'll leave the gas barrels there. But I may hold off on doing some more mining and instead use the day before Horde Night to craft up a bunch of resources that we may need, such as the workstations and make sure we've got all of the concrete mix crafted up and stuff like that. Get more rebar crafting. Worst case, I might have to go dig up some clay, but that shouldn't take too long. Right, I thought we'd pop over to the drop chest and just double check that I don't have any iron over here. A bit of oil in there, that's nice. Love to see it. Damn, we got 20 vitamins in there. That's insane. And it's all from looting that popping pills too. We might as well go ahead, make our way back upstairs, and uh, start chewing down some vitamins. See if we can work that wellness up a bit, eh? Yeah, it would have been nice if we had the iron bars in here, just so you guys could get a better overall look at what the base will end up like. I wouldn't mind getting the extra pillar 50 in, but like I said, there's still a high chance that I'm going to fall in there at some point. And if that happens, I'd prefer not to die. Alright, so might as well just chuck these on our hotbar and uh, start munching. So we're at wellness 189. There we go, 190. Beautiful. Can we get that up again before the morning? Alright, 192. That's all good though. Three extra wellness levels. I ain't going to complain. Need to reload the popping pills in our main town as well. Because we need to stock up on beakers. But yeah, I'd like to get quite a lot of chem stations in this base. They'll all be pretty much stacked against that wall there. But here guys. As the sun comes up. Oh. We ain't got our breakfast. Get down there boy. What the fuck are you doing? So yeah, day 83. So not long until the next Horde Night. So Horde Night should be in the next video. But yeah guys, as the sun comes up, that means our time is up. I hope you all enjoyed the episode. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe for more console content. But as always, stay safe out there survivors. And I'll see you in the next one.